Board Game Dad, bringing us this clean, fresh, not bloated, not moved over from a different version, Battle Sarah version 33, 256 gigabyte uh, for your Raspberry Pi 4 image. Does come pre overclocked at 1.8 gigahertz. As you watch this video, I'll show you how to un overclock it if you want to set it back to normal. But most Pies with a decent case, it'd be all set up. I'll set up with the Argon One, and as you see here, almost 11,000 games in total. I've already gone through the image, I've played games. I have to say, it is very clean, it's very smooth. I love this uh, theme. As you can see here, you can, when you hover over a system, it goes and it gives you, it moves the video snap over and it shows you the information. And then when you go into a system, you can see video snaps, artwork, all that good stuff. It does come with bezels installed when you're playing the games. And for the most part, every game I played, played fairly well. I even got Killer Instinct to work for the arcade, which I was very surprised that it even ran. Although it had a little bit of lag, you'll see that later in the video. Now, um, something that kind of differentiates this build, you might because there's so many builds out there. One, it's on the most recent version of Battle Sarah. It's a totally clean build. Build. He built it from scratch. He didn't port over something else. He didn't take an old version of Battle Sarah and update it. So it's fairly clean and just just bare, and and that's really great. But however, you're seeing. I mean, it's not bare. It's it doesn't you know it just doesn't have a lot of fluff. Um, I would say the biggest arcade, the biggest sets on here is has a huge arcade set, over 2,000 games. It has um, 145 PlayStation games, as you'll see. And then it has the biggest Nintendo 64 collection I've ever seen. It has all the Japanese games, so it'll have like multiple games, the same game. And they'll have like the UK release, the American release, and the Japanese release. And I'm not sure how much is actually changed in all those games, but for some games, maybe there's some changes and you like to play a certain version. It's all on here. So if you're into N64, I would definitely give this one a shot. I was very, very surprised to see that and it was really cool. So the way the video is gonna go, I actually shot this whole video and I realized my mic was muted the whole time. So I'm just gonna play the video. Uh, the, for the first 10 minutes or so, I just go through the, um, the different game lists. We go from Atari all the way through the arcade sets, the portable systems and everything like that. So you're just going to go through the game list and go through the games. Um, we're going to go from left to right in there. I'll, I'll go ahead and timestamp uh, the overclocking. That'll happen around the six minute mark or so. And then I play Killer Instinct around the 11 minute mark. And then at the end of the video, we'll do some other gameplay. But um, uh, yeah, I've played with this image for a while and I really liked it. So if you're looking for a clean... 256 gigabyte image look no further if you're trying to get an image which has like all the games on it you might want to um check out somewhere else but um you know for what this is clean fast quick uh it runs really well so uh thumbs up there and let's go ahead and check out these games
So here are these overclock settings. Hit start on your controller, head down to system settings, then go over to um, overclock at the bottom. And then as you can see here, we're at 1800 uh, megahertz turbo. Uh, highs, high turbo and extreme are, are, are fine if you have a decent heatsink and fan. But other than that, um, you know, do this at your own risk. Um, make sure you have the proper cooling. And it's all set up with the Argon 1 case with the shape shut down and the fan and all that stuff.
So this is the Killer Instinct arcade game, um, Killer Instinct 1 and 2. And uh, I'm just going to let it play so you can see the performance. Remember, this is at 1.8 gigahertz or 1800 megahertz. And, um, you know, maybe if you even go up to 2 gigahertz, you might actually be able to play this game a lot better. You'll notice that it freezes. At, it, get, it ran actually a lot better than I thought. But uh, it does kind of uh, freeze a little bit. You'll see. But pretty, pretty cool stuff.
So that's pretty much it. It's got a lot of pros. If you're into N64, oof, really nice. If you're into a lot of Japanese titles, really, really nice. Love the cleanness of it. It's not a, it has everything image, but it's still good. It's got a lot going for it. That's what I think. Let me do all think. Don't forget to like, subscribe. We'll catch you on the next one.